I just want to share a story about a patient that I, I, I love telling this story because it sort of puts things into perspective. And you might think, what do you mean by that? Put things into perspective. Well, this particular patient was someone that was living with obesity. She was very overweight. She, just to kind of put it into perspective, she wore a dress size that was like a 22 dress size. Okay, she was someone living with obesity. And I would talk to her about getting her weight down. I'd advise her, you know, hey, you want to be in our walking program that we had? Do you want to be in our diet program? Because we, we always have something going on at our clinic of Quinn Healthcare. But she never showed any interest. And all of her medical conditions were very poorly controlled. She had diabetes and she was on two forms of insulin, short acting and long acting and three diabetic pills, not much success. She also was on four blood pressure pills, a cholesterol pill. She was on a pill for depression and anxiety, and she was on pills for her joints because her joints hurt very bad. But we had to pull that back because her kidneys were starting to have problems with all that medication and uncontrolled diabetes and hypertension. Well, the deal is one day she came into the clinic and she was very, very excited. And I had never seen her like that before because normally she had a very flat affect. You know, she, she never made eye contact with me. Um, she basically was very silent at all times, but she was very chatty. And I remember so well, I walked in the room and the first thing she told me was, Doc, I'm going to get my dream husband. And I'm like, who are you? I thought it was in the twilight zone, but long story short, she showed me her Facebook page and there was a, a gentleman on there, a good looking guy. And she explained that she and he went to high school together and she always had the biggest crush on him. But for some reason, they never connected. But she learned that he had just gone through a divorce and her um, high school reunion, I think it was her 20 year reunion, was going to be in about 10 months. And she said, Doc, I really believe that he and I, we're going to get together now. Now that he got rid of that lady, I'm like, okay, we're not going to be happy about his divorce, but we are going to be happy that you're optimistic about something because we, we, want, we wanted her to be optimistic. But being the, the guy I am, I'm always looking for some kind of deal going on. You know, I saw an opportunity. And I asked her, I said, well, since you're going to that reunion, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea if we started talking about getting to a healthier weight. You know, it couldn't hurt, you know, maybe you could get into a different dress size, you know, and, and uh, I don't know, get on the dance floor and just, just woo them away, you know? So she was like, you know, doc, I am interested now. So I knew she was going to say that. So basically we started our program and we monitored her very closely where she would have to text every day to let us know what she ate and how far she exercised. She went out and bought some walking shoes that same day and she had to take a picture of her shoes on the concrete to show us that she started. And it, it was good. We would follow her every you know day with the text and we would call her every week, we'd chat. She'd come in every month and we'd do different um, blood pressure checks, check her blood glucose. and we had to start peeling her back from her medication. We, we, we stopped the short acting insulin. We kept going less and less and less and less. No more short acting because her blood glucose was going too low. Then we're able to stop the long acting insulin and stop, stop one of the pills as far as the blood pressure medicine. For the first time, her blood pressure was getting controlled. So we were able to peel back some of the blood pressure medicine. But over the course of 10 months, we were able to stop all of the insulin and she was only on two pills for diabetes. She was only on um, two pills for blood pressure. Initially, she was on four. Cholesterol, she was on one pill, but it was well controlled. And as far as her joint pain, it was almost gone. She didn't even need the joint pain medicine anymore. And to put the cherry on top, the uh, medicine for anxiety, which was Zoloft, 
She didn't need that any, either, anymore either for anxiety and depression. She was happy. She was optimistic. She was looking forward to something. And she was at a healthier weight. So I remember the last time she came in before the reunion, she came into the clinic and I walked in the room and she was all dressed up with some shiny looking clothes and she just did like this. I heard, I heard that. Whoa! <laughs> I said, wow, you, you look good, girl. And, and, and I said, your hair. And she said, I paid for it. I said, that's right, you did. And it was some beautiful hair. But the deal is, she was really, really excited. And, you know, we, 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 we coached her. My, my nurse, one of my nurses, she was like her, her, uh, her sister girl coach. And we, we talked about what she was going to wear on each night because she bought the itinerary. Well, the reunion happened. And, you know, we were so excited. We called her, no answer, no text, no responses. And a week went by. So I asked my nurse, I said, you know, let's, let's, let's get her on the phone. We kept trying, but she finally called me back. And the first thing she said was, Dr. Quinn, I'm a big fat loser. I was like, what are you talking about? I said, girl, you're the baddest lady in the world. I mean, you killed it. I know you did. And she said, he, she told me that he laughed at her. And I said, well, here's the deal. You dodged a jerk. That's right. You dodged a jerk. Because the deal with him was he couldn't see a beautiful woman right in front of him. He didn't deserve you anyway. And that's probably why his wife left him. But there was another guy for you. All right. There was another guy because you are a winner. And we looked at everything. She went from a size 22 dress size all the way down to, I want to say a 14, 16, somewhere in there. That's a big difference. She got off of all the insulin. Blood pressure was finally controlled. Note that her diabetes initially, although she was on all that medicine, it was poorly controlled. Her A1C was severely high, greater than 12. Now her A1C was like seven, which is good. Um, no more depression, no more. I told you, you are a winner because you're healthier. And that's what it's all about. When you want to change your lifestyle, you have to have goals that are the best for you as an individual. She probably wasn't going to get down to a six. Maybe she didn't need to get down to a six because that might have been small for her. But when you're trying to make lifestyle changes, you have to understand that you didn't get in the shape you are overnight. It took years to get into that shape and it'll take years to get back to the shape you know, you want to get to, and you never, you never may get to the perfect shape, but what you want to do is you want to be the best version of yourself because you deserve it. And also you want to be healthier because at the end of the game, at the end of the day, at the end of the game, that's the objective to be healthier. Because if you have a genetic predisposition for cardiovascular disease to have that stroke at 55, if you make those changes, there's so much less chance that you'll have that stroke. And if you do have that stroke, you can push it back 20 years. All right. So these are the things you want to do. Now, we talked about lifestyle changes. We talked about being compliant, taking your medication, doing everything you can do to get to that healthier state of health. But also, I just want to end by talking about a new class of medication. These medications are the GLP-1 agonists, okay? And, and uh, basically, these medications were initially started for diabetes. You've probably heard of Ozempic. That's the most popular one. The generic is semaglutide. Well, people that were using this medicine for diabetes and getting a lot better, they worked very well. They were losing weight. So what the company did, Novo Nordisk, is they did clinical trials and they got the clinical indication with the FDA for weight loss. And the newest medicine now is Wagovi. It is very, very effective. It's the generic semaglutide at 2.4 milligrams, a higher dose, but it's an injection once a week and it works. Now you might ask, how does it work? Well, what it does is it mimics hormones within your body, a very, um, common hormone that's released from your GI tract, but what it does is it slows GI emptying, meaning when you eat, 
you get full much more quickly. So if you're somebody that goes to Subway and gets a six, uh, let's say you get a 12 inch and you're full after you eat that 12 inch. If you use this medication, you might eat maybe one half or less of the six inch and you're full. So you stop eating, but the result is you lose weight. But these medicines also, they work with your brain, your hypothalamus specifically with these centers that cause you to get very hungry and they cause you to get less hungry, but also they speed up your metabolism a little bit. And basically what they're doing is they're combating something called metabolic adaptation. Now, what is metabolic adaptation? That's a big word. Basically, if you're somebody that is exercising, you're eating healthy, you're doing everything right, but you notice you're losing weight, but you start plateauing and then you might start gaining it back. What that is, is that's your body's auto-regulatory system trying to get you back to where you were because your, your brain and your body systems to include your um, nervous system, they think that you're starving. So they release hormones at a different level to make you very hungry. So you'll eat more. Your metabolism slows down so you won't lose that weight and you'll get back to your beginning weight. And that's what happens to a lot of people. That's why I tell a lot of people when you're trying to get to a healthier weight, there are a lot of things working against you. But also you want to talk to your medical doctor about getting evaluated for problems with your hormones. Some people have low um, testosterone. Some people can have low thyroid hormone, different hormonal imbalances. And, and, and then there are other things that can contribute. But that metabolic adaptation, it can actually be remedied by considering these new medications that are very good. So I just want to share that with you, but also encourage you. Because if you have the genetic predisposition to have cardiovascular disease at a younger age, unfortunately, or any age, you can fight back. And the way you fight back, like I said, is number one, know your family history and discuss that with your medical doctor or nurse practitioner or PA so they can be empowered with the knowledge so they can act accordingly so that they can work, you know, as far as if you have a family history that's not favorable. The second thing you can do is maintain compliance with your treatment regimen of your medical provider. If they say, I need you to see the cardiologist, go to your appointment and don't be like, well, it'll be okay. I'm not going to go. No, go. If they say, take your medicine, take your medicine. If they say, come see me every three months, go every three months or whatever interval that they think is best for your medical plan. And then lastly, lifestyle, lifestyle, lifestyle. Eat healthy, exercise, and consider some type of structured workout exercise program, also a structured dietary regimen. And lastly, just want to note, and there's no diet that's perfect for everybody. Find something that works for you, something that's sustainable long term, and, and you'll find more success. And as I said, a structured weight loss program as far as exercise would be like my wife and I, we work out with the Peloton and we follow their instruction, but it's more motivational because it's almost like a group exercise. But there's so many things you can do, but just know that you don't have to just wait for cardiovascular disease, you can fight back. My name is Dr. Timothy Quinn and my ringer just went off and I thank you for coming into my home and let me just encourage you to be the best version of yourself that you deserve to be.